What's going on, everybody? We are cube drafting. I'm going to take this zealous conscripts. I'm going to put it right here in my little packaroo. And I feel like that's the uh, one of the better things to take here. Badger, really appreciate you, buddy. Do, 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 do. Pax. I hear you, buddy. Pax is right. I hear you. What are your thoughts? All of them tell us. <laughs> Give me all your thoughts. Uh, we must move forward, not upwards, and always twirling, twirling towards freedom. What is that? Is that from something? Do you feel that there was definite contribution in terms of promoting the game from these people? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard for me to answer. <laughs> I like the badger it was The Simpsons. That's fucking, that's great. Um, I kind of just want to take tooth and nail and build around it. Like, I think it's early enough that I can take these build arounds and foothills or foundry tooth and nail. I want the Eldrazi. Give me the, like Sylvan, Sylvan carry added also likely tables. So, you know, that'll be nice. Oh, Golos. Oh, wheel of misfortune is in here. That's super interesting. Each player secretly chooses a number zero or greater than all. Chooses a number zero or greater. That's literally all numbers. Why we even say that? Why don't they just say secretly chooses a number? <laughs> what? I don't understand. Like, <laughs> it's such a weird, it's such a weird redundant thing to add. Secretly chooses a number zero or greater. I would not have thought that I would not have thought why does it just say each player chooses a positive number is zero not positive maybe that makes sense I guess then all players reveal those numbers simultaneously from the highest and lowest wheel of misfortune deals damage to the highest to each player who chose that number I'm gonna be honest that card's real confusing great hinge I am in for a great hinge and I hope this savannah comes back Uh, it's not actually functionally identical. The 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 reason is if you have one life, Wheel of Misfortune will literally kill you because you have to choose one. Right? Is that is that how that works? Hold on. Let me just read the stupid card. It might do highest damage. You might be right, actually. I, it's really kind of confusing. Okay. Uh, let me say, let's say I, let's say I'm playing against Moochel. Uh, what are we taking here? Let's figure that out first. I think it's just treasure map. I don't think green sun or last troll are super exciting here. Okay. I choose two. Moochel chooses three. Wheel of Misfortune deals damage equal to the highest number to each player who chose that number. So I chose three. I take three. Each player who didn't choose the lowest number. So I didn't choose the lowest number. I got to draw seven and he doesn't. But I paid three life for it. Yeah, no, I don't know. That's super confusing. I guess it. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> you know what? It's all it's all too much for me. I can't wrap my, my pea sized brain around it. Yeah, you can both pick zero. Wheel of Fortune just even you the highest number. But then how is it the highest or low? What? Then what happens? I like an internal witness, so I'm going to take that. Ooh, Dak Faden. Maybe he's else conscripts. Maybe we're teamer tooth and nail. I don't know if Dak is as good in the not vintage cube. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's not, but... It's still just a planeswalker. And there's nothing else good in that pack. I'm gonna take Stomping Ground. Yeah, duplicates fine. We can get that with a tooth and nail. Sacred Foundry came back. Alright. 
We're getting our we're getting our Golos lands here. Sylvan carry added did not. If you both pick zero, then zero is the highest number, but it is also the lowest number, right? Oh, it doesn't say that. It does. It's not. It's not. The card isn't choosing a highest number. It is just saying it deals damage equal to the highest number to each player. The highest number is zero, so it deals zero. Each player who didn't choose the lowest number. So they both chose the lowest number, though, right? This is it's so confusing. How is this card not super confusing? It's extremely convoluted. I'll take it. I feel like, is it just me? Like it's it is confusing, right? When are we playing some elves, buddy? I don't even know. Are there, are there even are there even viable elves right now? I'm gonna take this Baleful Strix because it's the best card in the pack. And oh, Charles. Oh. You know what? Charles Agent could be good here. I don't know what this deck is doing, but it's maybe we're just five color Golos. Yes, in every format. Oh dear. Scalding Tarn is great. It gets Sacred Foundry, Stomping Ground, and an Island right now. Yeah, we're just gonna take the Tarn with the way this deck looks. I don't think we can risk it. Dude, the mail has still not been delivered. Is today a holiday or something? Oh, is this are we an Omnath deck? Oh, we're a hundred percent Omnathing, right? There's not is there no card called Jeopardy and no card with the name Jeopardy in the title? That's interesting. Thank you. Oh my god, Badger with the Omnath maybe wheels, maybe, but I don't know. There's it, personally like there's a lot of times I don't, I just don't want to risk it. I'm like, you know what? I want this card in my deck. I think I just take it here. I like Overgrown Tomb. Blood Crypt is good because we can get it with Tarn, but I think it's more important to have a green land here. I do like Clothis a lot as well. Yeah, I'm going to take the Overgrown Tomb. Deck is looking pretty wild right now. Oh, there's the Consecrated Sphinx I was lamenting in pack one. I thought I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I mean, I'm just taking Consecrated Sphinx. Oracle is great. <sighs> no, it's got to be Consecrated Sphinx. I'm sorry. Raging Ravine. I like Goldsman Dragon's also pretty good as well. Making treasures that tap for two is not bad. Actually, Farseek is pretty good here. I don't I don't actually hate a Farseek. Raging Green might come back. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Farseek. We can also hit it off Shardless Agent, which is nice. I do kind of like escape here. I don't care about Plarg, Dean of Chaos. I just want to make that I just want to make that clear. escape draw a tree speaker are we tree speaking or are we needle spiring needle spires is better for omnath but we don't have a ton of white cards yet i don't think it's tree speaker like it just doesn't help us cast omnath it doesn't help us cast a lot of things i mean like it's fine but like like it doesn't help us cast dac does nothing for Baleful Strix. I feel like a card like this is just it's just not good in a, in a, in a not base green deck. I'm going to take Spires here. Temple Garden seems good. Let's Temple Garden. That also helps us uh, with our Omnath. Let's Courser of Crew Fix here. Arid Mesa came back. Arid Mesa gets uh, blue, red, and white right now. Blood Crypt came back. Wow, this is actually bananas I don't hate a whisperwood sure I'll take whisperwood is he speaking to the trees or for the trees to them <laughs> okay
Um, Murder Shred Cap could be fine. This is a lot of good lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. A lot of claw reaches. Speak of the devil. I'm actually going to start writing out what the lands are now. White sources, we have one, two, three. Oh, wow. That Valky will get played for sure. That's a last pick Valky. One, two, three, four. Four white sources. That's beautiful. Uh, we just have one blue source right now. So I would like more blue sources that we can search up. <laughs> Ravages. Why are you like this? This pack is really... I don't know what to make of this. There's nothing that I really care about. We're not a sneak attack deck. Force of Negation is interesting, but we only have like three, four blue cards, five blue cards. One, two, three, four, five. Worm Coil is cool. Actually, it's probably just Worm Coil. Yeah, I mean, it's just the most reasonable threat. Okay, black sources. One, two, three, four, five. Green, red sources is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Green, we have one, two. Scalding Tarn, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that's good. I think it's actually Nickel. You think Bolus is reaching? Really? I, I disagree. I think it's exactly what we want to be doing. This is like why we're playing Infinite Colors. So we need more blue sources and more green sources, probably. None of those exist here. <laughs> like, like single blue, double black is totally fine. We have five black sources so far. Might just take Woodland Cemetery. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine lands so far. So that's I think we're doing pretty well on lands. Um, I don't just like fire prophecy. It's just like a removal spell. Actually, Bone Crusher Giant's probably better, right? Like that seems like a better removal spell. Yeah, let's just take Bone Crusher. One of these lands is likely going to come back. Oh man, natural order. We're not natural ordering. We might be Ashiocking though. I think we're Ashiocking. Like that's the whole point of like playing this deck, right? Drowned Catacomb. I do like a Drowned Catacomb here a lot. It also works well with Blood Crypt and Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, let's take a Drowned Catacomb. So our blue goes up one, our black goes up one. <sighs> Just taking City of Brass. Actually, I think we want more removal. Like, I don't think we have a ton. We have this guy. Baleful Strix is kind of removal. Yeah, I think it is Abrupt Decay or or Dismember. Yeah, I can go with it. I kind of like that this doesn't hit Abrupt Decay. Or uh, Shardless Agent doesn't hit Dismember, rather, because I just don't want to hit random Abrupt Decay when it doesn't do anything. And I think Dismember does actually kill more things that we care about. I'll take a Dismember here. Ooh, Bedevil. Black, black, red. That might be too much. That might be reaching a little bit. Isolated Chapel seems good, though. So does Night of Autumn. Do we have any Night of Autumn-esque effects? I don't think we're tooth and nailing here. Yeah, I think I like the versatility of Night. Wow, this pack is terrible. Eh, I'll just take Primal Might. I don't hate Damnation here, actually. Godless Shrine came back. Wow. So that gives us two more black sources from Arid Mesa and Godless Shrine. So that puts us to eight black sources. 
and six white sources from Iron Mesa Goblet Shrine. Woodland Cemetery. Now I think we just want root bound crab. I think we got another red because we're getting. So green, we have six and eight. Definitely think Rattleclaw Mystic will make the cut here. Doomblade is fine. Whip is fine. Yep. All right. This deck looks sweet. We have two blue sources. I'm I think we might just cut Consecrated Sphinx. We only have Drowned Catacomb and Scalding. Because we have three because we have an island. I still don't know if that's good enough. Surprisingly, with 16 creatures, I think Great Henge is actually fine. I guess we do have Rattleclaw. Still, I still think, I think four is kind of pushing it. Oh, wait, if we Shardless Agent into Valky, oh, we can't do that. They fixed that, didn't they? That means we're going to do it every single time, right? Yeah, I agree. Oh, what up, Alan? With the moon, this is twenty four. You are basically a two drop. I think we're cutting damnation. Yeah, that seems fine. So just to be clear with our mana base, uh, white we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Got that right. Blue, we have one, two, and then one island. Puts us to three. Red, black, we have a lot. Arid Mesa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven. One, two. I thought I made eight. One. Oh, I was already counting Arid Mesa as a black source. So I, I didn't I counted it a second time for Galdus Shrine. But it was just I already counted. It was already a black source. So seven black. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. And green, we have Arid Mesa, yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six green. You get five basics. So I'm going to say two forests, one swamp, and maybe one plains. I don't actually think we need a red here. Let's see if they agree. One plains, one island, one swamp. Oh, I see. Here we go. That's where we differ. This deck looks pretty sweet. I am going to cap it so I can remember what to get. <laughs> and uh, let's see how it goes. Is Doomblade better than Dismember? Hmm. I don't know. We do hit it off of Shardless Agent, but I don't think that's great. Unless we need to. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. All Fruit Loops do feel like the same flavor. I don't think it's better. My name is Super Fritz. Nailed it.
What a keepable hand. Oh, they mulled a six on the play? They're basically dead. Your impression of me is dead on. It's amazing. It's so dead on. It's amazing. Buddy, you don't even know how long I've practiced it. It's been years, bro. Years. Are you going to take W's? What's he going to do? Nothing. Mmm, whoa. Y'all ever seen them turn turn four almnaths? So next time we can play Catacomb Tapped, and then next turn, the turn after that, we can go Sacred Foundry into Omnath. We got that red, green, blue, and white. Mana base is perfect. Mm. That could be good, too. Actually, we can just go get... Let's see. Let's check the list. So we play this. We go get a... I guess we need a white source. So we can get... Sacred Foundry is in our... Okay, we can't get a white source. So I'm glad we looked. <laughs> so instead, we're going to play Catacombs. Tapped. And then we're just going to play Sacred Foundry next turn. What we could have done is just got an island with this because it's the only other blue card we can get. But, you know, if they're mono white, I feel like, I don't know, I feel advantaged. Maybe. Tarp covering my... Wow, that's rude. I'm glad they played it now because now I got an Omnath. They could flicker wisp it though. Oh, can you imagine? Um, yeah, I'll keep Belfal Strix. Strixy baby. Also, keeping the Scalding Tarn until post Omnath is good value. No flicker wisp, no swords. 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 No flicker wisp. Okay. Keep the lands flowing. Next time, the sky's the limit. We can play Whisperwood. Uh, next time, we can play Duplicant or these two. First gas hoarding accident has happened in Florida. Yeah, Florida. Floridians are actual morons. And I say this as a Floridian. A native Floridian. Yep. I mean, we saw that coming, right? Let's get another forest. We knew that that Omnath was not was not long for this world. <laughs> the greatest superhero florida man so they do and then we gotta go we gotta go get something with this so i actually think we just play whisperwood here i don't really care about this too much i think whisperwood's a a solid dude Oh god, if they monetize me, I'm gonna cry. We could have just put this into play. Oh dear. Okay. Wow. 
man, I had the sweats for a second. Yep. Yeah, all right, you got it. Are we hitting? Oh no! Good grief. I mean, I'm just going to let this resolve, because if we sack this, then we're losing our token, too. And I'd rather just, just lose the Whisperwood, I guess. Oh, man, the too much macaroni sweats are, we are real. I think we're getting blood crypt. Go blue and black. Play this gentleman. Be great hinge. It's not. Um, I'm gonna just keep playing around the stupid. They could have just chosen not to mana tide because they had council's judgment, or yeah, and they just wanted to like. That seems bad though. But it's, there's just no incentive for us not to just play around a uh, a mana tithe. Like, there's just none. Another land. Should we be attacking with Lava Claw? Possibly. I wish I had a way to bounce this guy. That would be nice, right? Um. Honestly, there's no realistic comics that I want that I don't have, or else I'd, I'd probably just pick them up. Um, I mean, I think it's like, it's interesting because the only things I want are like 5k or more. And the only things I can think are like early Spider-Man keys, like first Sandman, first uh, Scorpion, first things like that in good in good high grades. Um, first Doc Ock would be on the list. And like, Jesus, what the fuck? Come on, lands. One, two, three. This is ridiculous. Sure, you know what? I mean, I feel like we're actually if they if they wrath of God, we still get to keep a murderous red cap and a lava claw reaches. If they Armageddon, they're just dead. So I feel like we're uh, in a good position against two of the main. I mean, if they wrath, they're just dead to lava claw. Oh my god, please manifest this token. Oh, you're gonna get the illusion? That's better. I actually don't know what the, like, 
extreme fascination with Marvel Spotlight number five is like I I've never been a huge Ghost Rider fan and like like Ghost Rider's just not in a ton of things. He's not he doesn't have any franchises right now. Like Ghost Rider's just not a a, a character where I'm like this is suit like this card this character is great. Lock here, Tim. Like I don't know. Like I, I feel like it's it's like a Venom thing where I'm just like I don't I personally don't get it. I guess. Yeah, if you flicker this, it comes back into play face up. I don't really need to play Valky here because we're just gonna attack them with everything, and if they ha they have to have swords here, so dead easy yeah, iron. Like I know it's funny because like Marvel Spotlight number five's first appearance Ghost Rider is actually a super key, but like I don't know. I never. I I feel like I felt like the hype surrounding it just doesn't live up to like. the character he's just kind of an obscure character like i think moon knight is as well and i'm surprised that ghost rider's first appearance is actually more popular than moon knight especially because moon knight has a show coming out mm, i guess that makes sense though i don't know i think I mean, anything in a high nine is going to be that. That's, yeah, that's pretty standard for any, any, any keys from the Silver Age. Like, yeah, rumor, yeah, he's probably going to be in, in Doctor Strange too, right next to, right next to Mephisto. I'm sure they're both going to be there. I take rumors like that with a grain of salt because like, it's very unlikely that like Marvel secretly got like, it's really hard to cast Ghost Rider to write him into the story to like work on the effects for Ghost Rider to like, like it's you can't it, Ghost Rider's not a character you can just kind of sneak into a movie I feel like I could be totally wrong and I will accept if I am but like Uh, yeah, all right. I think our biggest decision is what land to get with this scalding tarn. That makes it easier. Because now we can go a blue source treasure map into Ashiok and Omnath. If we had a white source, that'd be pretty cool. I guess the swamp makes it rough, but oh wow, that's that's actually pretty good. Hmm. Well, it's because we only have one blue source that's an island. It makes Omnath really hard to play here. I think we still have to plan on Ashiok. I'm going to say thank you for the company. However, it's almost gym time. So I need to get ready and head off. Have a wonderful afternoon. Remember chat. Take care. He's <laughs> Badger. I appreciate you. I hope you have a great time at the gym. I hope it goes well for you. I hope you get all those sweet gains. I hope this is hard for them to deal with. We hit three lands.
Okay. Salami simulacrum. Save the salami for your mommy. We're not going to Omnath here, so I might as well scry. I want to bottom that because we already have two more lands in hand. I kind of like a white source just naturally so I don't have to crack Scalding Tarn. Okay, well, that is a thing. Ooh, what do we get? A Rydane? Got a Forbid. Kind of glad that's gone. I think we play this risk. Yeah, also because Agents of Shield is part of the MCU, it makes Ghost Rider kind of just weird to show up in like it would have to be the same actor because Marvel wants to do that and they're building a cohesive universe rather than like just random characters that show up from time to time like Agents isn't part of the, the MCU anymore oh that's interesting they took it out last week oh that's <laughs> okie dokie well that's weird because what about Phil Coulson though Huh. Aren't there two ghost writers? Yes, but like oh man, this is a whole this is a whole to do really. I'm gonna go get uh Sacred Foundry with this because we need a white source. And we're going to go white, red, green, blue, Aminath. So we can block here if they don't kill this, which they might. Next turn we'll have, Jesus, seven mana. Got a lot of green. Eh, let's just get a planes, I guess. Still get to draw. So if this was a bit three, four, five, six, Ashiok can survive, or we can just play a Rydane. Goes to two, but we get to block either of these things. I think that's probably correct. It also makes our Great Henge cheaper. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get to treasure map. At the end of it, we can actually treasure map Nicol Bolas next turn, which is kind of cool. Then we can actually steal this, play Arid Mesa. Uh, MTGO, I have, I have had games restart, yes. <laughs> okay well now they're going to draw that so that's on their top but we still got rid of this basically so we still got rid of a card and they're going to draw the same card so that's fine This is interesting because if I have Dismember or any kind of like, I guess the odds are low. Yeah, 
Here's a clip of the game restarting. <laughs> um, I will keep that on top. I think that's good enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. So black. Bl oh no, we don't. yes we do. Never mind. I'm a dum dum. Keep that too. Yeah. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Do we want to waste all our treasures for it though? I mean, it puts Nickel Bolas on the board, right? It seems good. They have th three cards in hand, though. They don't love that. I feel like they have a counter spell. Like they're just not playing anything for four mana. Mm. We know they have Forbid in their deck, so clearly they're a blue white control deck, and we just didn't see anything from that. Oh. Well then. <laughs> non angel, buddy. <laughs> That's it's not gonna do what you think it does. Yep, that is not uh, that is not how a restoration angel works. Oh, okay, S solid backup plan. I guess if we stole, see now I know if we stole with Nicobolus, they would just be able to kill. We could go block block, I guess. Eh, maybe not. So we take five. Ugh. It's surprising with this much land. I feel like we're kind of behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven mana. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mana. That carbon I slap so hard. Oh. This is a delicious carbonara. They only have three cards in hand. I mean, one of them's a Rydane. I feel like we need to get this great hinge down for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can escape to the wilds. Okay, this is good because it gets it. Fuck! Again, just spot on. Incredible. Buddy, I know. I know, man. That's what I'm here for, bro. All right, going to three. Fingers crossed you don't have a... Yeah. So this guy actually costs what? Four, five, six. So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We gain two, we go to five, and then, we, then we're good. It's not good. Do we just have to steal a resto? We might just have to steal a resto here. Flicker Wisp.
yep, that was a that was a thing, I guess. All right, draw another card. So another hand is like riding. I think we're are we dead? Doesn't feel good. So even if we take this, we block here and here and we take three. So it's like, uh, I mean, I guess we can escape and just see what happens. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana technically. We can go Knight of Autumn to gain four, Shardless Agent, see what we hit. I think we have to get a mountain with this. Stealing Solemn doesn't do much. We already have the ground covered. Like, we need to worry about the Flyers, and Knight of Autumn and Charless Agent are like two of the better options to. I don't even know if. I don't even know what Charless Agent's gonna hit, to be honest with you. Oh, good. And all of our lands just kill us. All right. Yeah, we're just dead here. Three, four, five. Yeah, we need a six land. Yeah. All right, Doomblade's definitely coming in now that I've seen a bunch of your dirtily boys. Like, we could have hit Farseek. Baleful Strix would have been a good hit. Or, I guess, Valky. I don't care about Zealous Conscripts. Primal Might also seems good here. Take out the deck. I kind of like Consecrated Sphinx here. They have a lot of flyers. Um, yeah, I don't think they're a particularly damnation-y deck. Like, they just happen to get some flyers down, but I feel like that's not their primary game plan. Thank you. Like, because we have 15 creatures, I feel like it's more likely that we have more, like, more creatures. Jiggity Jaws. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, good. That's better. Turn two treasure map is nice again. I will keep, and we're going to put Sh Sphinx back. Oh, the I never know when to play. So, no, no, it's 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 actually I think it's complicated as well. I think if you if you envision situations like where they will definitely have more creatures than you most of the time, it's fine. But I don't think that's necessarily the case. Like they strike me as more of a control deck that just happen to draw like a, a good a good concentration of their flyers. Yeah, this is a solid draw. Watch us regret putting that Sphinx back now. Plus, we have a good amount of removal. Like, I think we brought in Doomblade, right? Yeah, Doomblade, Dismember, Bone Crusher Giant, Duplicant. And yeah, so theoretically, like, we should have enough to to deal with the jabronis. The incredible little boo doo doo. I don't think we're going to block here, especially because we just have good responses to this, and I'd rather just block like a 3-3 or 3-4 flyer, so.
Hmm, nothing. Ewit. Eh, see, we're bottoming an Ewit here. Omnath. Shardless agent. Huh. I kind of like that. Uh, do we want second white? No. I th well, we have second red already. So yeah, let's get second white. Ain't nothing gonna hold me down. Oh no. I got to keep cascading. Ain't nothing gonna Oh, I like a Rattleclaw Mystic here. Value City. So they can't blink anything here. They can't just flash in a resto. That's fine. Yeah, Valky, Valky would be rough. Not, not what we're looking for there, unfortunately. Used to be what we were looking for, and then they changed it. They're like, no, it's too good. Yeah, that guy's fine. We get to Golos next turn. Oh, man. Golos me. Come at me, little prince. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Eh, bottom that. We have six mana right now, plus we're drawing another... Getting another land with Golos. Oh, I actually kind of like that the Ewit came back. Um, what do we want here? Kind of like Drowned Catacomb. No, we want a second green. We want a second green that's reliable. So I think we're going to get Overgrown Tomb. And I kind of have to just take two so we can actually activate this. I think that's worth it. I think that's worth it. Now we're not going to attack. My theory is that they're going to kill Golos, so I'm probably just going to block here. Can't take two forever, man. All right, just blinking Solemn Simulacrum seems pretty uneventful. You got it. See, that makes me feel like pretty good about this game. Because now we get to go to our turn, potentially activate Golos. Godless Shrine, bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, so that's good. Watch, we're going to draw Nicol Bolas and wish we would activate Golos on our upkeep. Six, seven. Yes. Oh, big worm, and I already played my land. What a stupid idiot. What an actual dummy. Feels Batman. I mean, whatever. We, we played a Worm Coil and we spent seven instead of six. Oh, you're going to forbid it. Hmm. Well, that's sad. And we can kill both of these guys, but I don't think that's worth it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh no, got to keep on moving. Okay. 
Okay. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Ain't nothing gonna hold me down. Oh no. Okay. That's a big old lady. Oh yeah, that's a good boy. Here's a nickel bolus. Bone crusher. That's interesting. So what we're doing is bone crushering this guy. It's it's called stomp, stupid. Okay, buddy. Okay. And then we're going to activate Golos. Red, black, blue, green, white, one, two. And this time we didn't hit a land. So now we get a... Oh, great henge. This is where we're like, okay, you got me. Nickel bees. Nickel bottoms. <sighs> Gain control of this beautiful lady. Oh, I paid for it, but I didn't have to pay for it. Uh, I think we're actually just going to... I don't think... Eh, that's fine. I don't even care, dude. I don't even care. I guess we can waste the treasure to... No, we can't. Dang it. Why can't we? Why can't we? Red? Okay. I was like, what's going on? I felt confused. Oh, and this guy draws us a card, too. And it becomes a 5-4? Yeah. I'm going to save that till next turn. That was a good turn. Uh, you know, it wasn't, wasn't the worst. Oh no, we've got to keep on moving. Yeah, they're really uh they're they're fighting the good fight here. We have sixteen damage on board before Lava Claw reaches. So, you know. Oh no, I've got to keep on moving. I feel like we're I feel like we're done. I don't know. Well, they're really, they're really taking their time here. <laughs> today junior are they considering whether to temporal restoration for just a temporal mastery for a turn yeah 
Yeah, Day of Judgment, unfortunately, I'd be like Great Henge, Omnath, Eternal Witness, Golos, Golos, all of these guys that have counters on them. Like, this is just an engine. This is a straight mood. This is a great en hen enge engine. The great engine is what it should be called. Unforgiven. Have a good night, buddy. It's good catching you live. I'll try to, I'm trying to be more, uh, more afternoon time rather than midnight. Hello? Are you still there? Hello, God. It's me, Margaret. Okie dokie. Boogie dokie. I'm going to get the mail in a second if they don't hurry up. Okay, Vencer. Sounds good. You can get your Lyra back. Okay. Margaret did rage quit. Okay, they have one card in their hand. Buddy. Don't even make me do this to you. One, two... Three, four, five. Ami McNatherson. Ned Ryers. Draw a card, draw a card. Draw two cards. Oh, ho, Valkarino. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can just play the Valk. You got to keep on. Oh, we don't have any lands to get. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, man. Oh, wow. What a bummer, dude. Oh, well. I'll just try to kill you, I guess. Remember that time I tried to play Valky and I was like, I tried to trigger this twice, but then I was like, nah, bro. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They go to 1. <sighs> It's fine. I'll put him to one and I'll give him one more turn for funsies. Well, they're doing some shenanigans here. I don't think Settle is in the cube. Yeah, this is like six mana. Unexpected Land has been three, sure. Thank you. Hello, oh, Murbler. What up? Welcome back. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Murbs McBlurbs. How many cards are we getting back here? A lot. I'll just get Primal Might. You know what? That's probably going to do the deed next turn. And let's draw another card. Oh my god, Murderous Red Cap. Okay, buddy. It's all you. Hey, kitty cat. What's new, kitty cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, kitty cat? Oh, we win the game. All right. Sounds good. That was like game one. Good grief. Damn it. What's new, Michael B? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, you know what? I'll keep it. Any one green source, and we're like. Back in the high life again. And there it is. Uh, now, now, eventually, you might have dinosaurs 
on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello? Hello? I'm just going to play this. It, let's say it means we can't play these on turn two or on turn three if we hit a green source, but <sighs> sure. Oh, you got it. Our opponent is 2-0, so that's pretty good. They're probably like a really, really good black-white disruption deck. They take knight. Sure, that's the card that can kill your guy. So I think we're gonna get a temple garden. It gives us the white and the green. That guy's good. No, that guy's worse. I was thinking of selfless spirit, which is much better. Sure, buddy. <laughs> Playing Lava Claw Reach is the best way to draw a green naturally. It's true. So did I take three here? Probably. Yep, keep it on top. Keep it on top, 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 at a top. One, two, three. Get back my Golos. Go, try to go low, low, lows. I mean, this just killed a creature, so that's fine. I mean, it's literally, this is a Shriek Maw for Royceful Cleric, so that's fine too. <laughs> You're right, it's true. Oh, they got the stupid giver of runes. Bottom you. It's good. Nah. All right. Now I feel like we're doing really well, especially with the treasure map on the board. Should have attacked with Eternal Witness. That was an amateur move. I think I was just more concerned with stabilization. This is a bad, it's a bad Soren. I'm going to steal it and then make a vampire. And we're going to be like, thanks, dummy. <laughs> Watson, shut up. Can you guys, can you, can you guys hear Watson? Um, I am going to keep that on top, actually, because... Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This is very good. This is very good. I can have this. I can have a vampire of my own. I'm going to sack to draw so we can hit a land. We did not, but that's okay. That's okay.
So next time we can red cap this and then we just uh Oh, we just win the game. I think duplicate's fine. The thing is with a 540 card cube, like I think I have duplicate in my cube. Let me look right now. This is my cube. I think it's I think it's still here. Yes, same one. Okay. No, I actually don't have a duplicate in my cube. Yeah, I just have worm coils, my only six drop in the cube. Wheel of Misfortune is bugged, just had an appointment played, and you can see the number they chose. <laughs> well, that's not secretly at all. Uh, Doomblade seems good here. It, I guess it kills Giver and Remorseless Claire. Oh, uh, actually, this might be a damnation matchup. This reminds me of a deck that... That is Misfortune. Well played. Well played. Um... Man, I feel like our deck is, is very good against, like, this deck. I'm going to actually take out the duplicate here because I feel like it's just kind of expensive. Nickel Bolas is also expensive, but it's a cooler effect, so. Oh, yeah, this is a good hand. Treasure map and Farseek? Sure. What does Farseek get us? We can get, like, Sacred Foundry so that we can definitely cast both Escape and Knight. All right. If we can get a blue or a black source here that'd be great <laughs> always be bolusing is my motto that's how i live my life are you guys even do you guys even do you guys even bolus i don't think so oh not my far seek no <laughs> and we still got a treasure map that's fine yeah, that's whatever. White source. Off the top like a boss. They don't call him Mr. Sultan Bolas for nothing. Yeah, or at all. I'm a big kid, but back of me. He lives up oh, in the... Oh, Dismember is good. It might be a turn too late, but... I feel like the Hero Blade Hole is just going to destroy us. Give me that Farseek. That's not your Farseek. We can double block here and take four. I think that's what I'm doing, actually. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. Let's just go to the next game. This is not, it's not going well for us. Now we're definitely bringing in Doomblade. That's... That's what's known as a... Uh, I think I'm taking both of these out. I'm bringing back the duplicate now because we do need to be a little quicker, I believe. Yes, keep. Snap, keep. Sneep. Let's start with the drowned because I don't know what we want to get with this. We want to get a white, a red, or a second black. I mean they're just gonna they're just gonna get rid of it with damnation, so. Oh. What? <sighs> cool. I skipped my turn because I guess I <sighs> fucking that's stupid. I 
That's really frustrating. That turn I could have actually played Rattleclaw face down, flipped it next turn, and played one of our big guys, and that would have been pretty decent. So now we're just going to get Blood Crypt here. Sure. And then we're going to Blood Crypt and try to try to recover from skipping a turn. That's fine. Fine and unexciting. Shardless Agent can hit a Doomblade, so I'm kind of reluctant to just throw a Shardless Agent out there, if, unless we can kill something good. Alright, so we have green, we need a second green, and probably a second white I guess temple gardens fine here no I mean if we hit any land we can go lows and that seems pretty good just kidding Guess I'll take one. Knight of Autumn. A route to bound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I feel like Valky's the play here. And then they would attack it for one, two, three, four, five. Maybe not. Maybe it's just Whisperwood. Get some get some bodies on the board. Let's shardless agent here. Far seek. That's okay. We have white, white, black, black, green, 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 red, red, red. So I think it's actually white, black. All right, this seems better. Next turn we can play Valky and be pretty well protected. And we can also play any lands we hit off of Valky, which is nice. Also, before we leave today, be sure to follow and subscribe. Both of those are great ways to support the channel. And I'm here about five days a week. I'm a full-time content creator and streamer, so... I'm here for your amusement. Oh, a rankle, huh? I still have to cast it, right? Okay. Well, shooty booties. Yeah, it still feels pretty good. They have three cards. We have four plus Tybalt. Okay. <laughs> you got him big tibs hmm 
One, two, three. Let's see if we can get you to sack your guy. There he goes. There he goes. All right. Let's play this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna play all the cards. I'm, I'm afraid of Avacyn here. Like if they have Avacyn, they just get to attack here. So I just want to be able to have something to block with. And then if we're able to just chump, we can then duplicate the Avacyn. So. But realistically, Tybalt's doing some, some heavy lifting here. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> bunch of dirtles sure uh yeah we'll block never mind just source of pleasure is on a thopter just to get tibble down to s seven boy hmm. well we're just gonna play dak here This card, Forest and Dismember. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play the Swamp for free. Right. Sure. <laughs> And that'll do it. Wow, that was good. That was good. All right. So for those on YouTube, we did stop the stream after round two. And now we still have one round to play with this deck. And it looks like this. We are currently 2-0. So. It's kind of sweet. We have a Consecrated Sphinx in the sideboard, which is the last place... I want a Consecrated Sphinx, but, you know, what can you do? Our deck looks good, so we're going to play another round. Let's see what happens. Oh, what up, Shua Garner? And we're just going to wait for this match, apparently. And now we're done. All right, let's see if we can 3-0 this bad boy. We're definitely going to keep this. We can morph this guy. Overgrown Tomb would be sweet. Then we can play it on turn two, play Rattleclaw, then play Drown Catacomb untapped. <clears throat> You still have a bazillion boxes to unpack. Yes, and to pack. I am still in our old house. <laughs> we don't move until this weekend. All right, well, we can play this. And cool. Okie dokie. <laughs> of course, round three goes like this. Of course it does. Why would it not? Hmm. 
This warm coal engine. Let's see it. Primal Titan. Gary. Okay, that's good. Yep. <sighs> It's 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 already good when you miss a land drop against an opponent who just plays lands, but when they're already ramping themselves three mana from a grim monolith and you miss a land drop, cool. Well, this is gonna be quick at least. At least we'll get into a new draft quickly because this one is gonna be absolutely miserable. Didn't really see enough to damnation. Um, I can probably assume dismember bone crusher murderous red cap might be enough. Frankie Cubert's doing the do. I don't even know what that means. It's another keeper. We need a blue source. Then we can play both of these and this. So, you know. <laughs> you know, maybe. Okay. So blue source off the top, drawn catacomb off the top. Could be worse. Our mana base is actually very good. Uh, we just don't get to see any of it. Okie dokie. I've worked 60 hours this week already. Well, that's to be fair, you only have one more work day, so that's good. If you worked a traditional week and this was just your regular Wednesday, that'd be one thing. Oh, good. Well, it's good to pop that guy. I mean, uh, two games in a row, we've missed multiple land drops, so I don't know. Seems good. Four, five, six. Gilded Lotus. And play something else. Sure. All of this is fine. So we flip this guy for two. He makes three, so this is three, four, five, six mana. Hmm. Seven, eight, nine, minus two. Man, I was actually hoping we could cast the Great Henge here. It costs seven. Three, four, five, we only have six. It might just be escape. Play another land. If we hit it. That feels correct. Okay, well, 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 well. So next turn we get one of these. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We can play Great Henge. But we can't play anything off of it. I was hoping to have enough mana to play Great Henge and then use the Great Henge and one additional mana to catch Charlotte's Agent. But no. This vintage cube has been whipping my booty. It just seems like all my opponents have had answered everything I've done every time. Is it just me or does it? Uh, it does not feel like that to me because it's a legacy cube. <laughs> yeah, but um, 
So you can draw three, draw four here. Or you make a beast and risk it for the biscuit. Five. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna add mana and then maybe draw four to see what they can get. Or they play Avenger of Zendikar and then turn timber. Okie dokie. Um, that's actually okay because we have a duplicate. That's surprisingly interesting. Hmm. That's a big boy. So now we're just gonna pass here. They can draw four, but there's not really much we can do about it. <laughs> I did I did know what you mean. Um, I think my record so far is pretty good with this cube. So I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually kind of having the opposite experience. I mean, this match is not going great, unfortunately, but. We are 2-1, so, or 2-0 oh so far, so I guess 2-1 is not the worst. Yep. I ordered a huge gridded whiteboard for my D&D encounters. Oh, that sounds awesome, actually. Whiteboards, chalkboards, and corkboards, all kinds of uh, utility boards are always pretty sweet. I mean, it's funny because they can draw six here and then tap Nykthos for eight. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. But it was not cool. Um... I feel like we want a second black here. So it's either Godless or Blood Crypt. I'm not going to take two just to activate this. Oh man, arachnophobia is great. John Goodman and... It's Jeff Daniels? It's Jeff Daniels, right? I remember arachnophobia freaked me out when I was a kid for obvious reasons. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, at least our great hinge only costs two now. So we can go. Let's play this guy. And Farseek was, eh, I guess it's fine. Let's get, I guess Godless Shrine here. Nope. So now we have four mana, five with this guy. Oh, and we get to draw a card too. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't want Baleful Strix down here. 
blue black yeah let's do blue black bailey boy uh we have not finished invincible yet no All right, I guess we're passing here. I'm not actually sure how we win this match, but I mean, I'm sure they just drew Crater Hoof and they're in a Crater Hoof. Okay, it's not Crater Hoof. Mm -hmm. yep never fucking fails thanks for watching guys really appreciate it hope you enjoyed that uh absolutely miserable match after the first two really really great matches thank you guys for the support hopefully you'll consider subscribing or following on twitch they're great ways to support the channel and uh it's one of the few ways i get to pay my rent so if you guys have it in you to support the content you're viewing right now Definitely consider going to uh, Twitch and doing so. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.